I found it surprisingly difficult to remotely control the Huanyang VFD with Linux CNC. So here's a quick video about that. There's another video out there where an external potentiometer is simulated or something. And there's nothing wrong with that solution, but this one's better in every aspect. Most prominently you get feedback about the actual RPM and output current. Right now I'm using a bit of Windows software called Spindle Talker 2 and I used that to troubleshoot those cheap RS485 USB adapters. And sure enough there was a bit of trouble to shoot. The first one just died on me and it looked so innocently and simple I didn't even suspect it at first. But a plain old replacement just solved all the problems I had. So step one, get a couple of these. They're only 199 at the moment. Step two, get a twisted pair of cables from an old network cable for example and connect plus to plus and minus to minus. Some say they had to switch those cables, but I can't confirm that with hardware bought in early 2016. The correct configuration can easily be found on the internet and even in the manual. PD1 and PD2 have to be set to 2 to accept RS485 commands. All others can vary, but the software has to be set up accordingly then. I'll go with standard stuff, slave address 1, 9600 baud rate, 8 data bits, no parity, 1 stop bit. In current versions of Linux CNC, the user space component that will talk to our VFD is already included, so you have to download and compile nothing. For this demonstration I'll make a new configuration with the stepconf wizard and I'll set these two spindle pins to unused so stepconf wizard doesn't create any unnecessary PWM gens or scaling or something. What I'll gladly take though is the spindle speed display that we're being offered on this page. In the folder of our newly created configuration, we want to edit the custom HAL script, which will survive all changes we might make with the stepconf wizard in the future. First, we we'll load the HYVFD user space component, give it the name VFD, use the device dev TTIY USB 0 or higher. No parity and baud rate of 9600 as we said earlier. Now we'll connect the VFD speed command pin to a net called spindle command rpm absolute which has automatically been created by stepconf wizard. You can look at all of those in the machine name HAL file. Then three more nets that have not already been created. Those need a name and two pins at least. Spindle clockwise, spindle counterclockwise and spindle on. Some nice formatting and we're off to the custom post GUI file. There's already something in here because we choose the spindle speed display in the stepconf wizard. And now we only have to make two minor changes and we are settled. The spindle at speed indicator is permanently true at the moment. We'll just connect that to the VFD spindle at speed pin. And because this is the last script that gets evaluated at the start of Linux CNC, we set the VFD enable pin here. That starts all communications to the VFD. If we did it earlier, it could cause various errors. And finally, we can check if everything's working as expected. I'm off installing that thing. See you next time.